Hello, I'm Jacob Raku, and I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to tune them out. Um, I'm going to start talking about Legos. So I've collected Legos for a while, and um, I don't know. This year I'm just going to start posting videos about them. So right here I have the uh, Lego set number 10270, and it's the bookshop set. It has 2,504 pieces, so it's in the middle size block compared to the other sets. And uh, it's a bookstore and an apartment building. So it's really nice. If you look at the back, here's the back of the box. Um, I'm going to start building it and I'll review it afterwards. Let's get This is the finished product, and let's start off by looking at the apartment building. So we're going to open up the set. This is a really cool way it opens up. It t you can take off the back, and then you can take off the front of the roof. Um, so if you look inside, it has a really nice bed, lamp, a flower pot, and a picture frame. Um, the bed, I think, in my opinion, the bed looks really nice. Put some people in there. And in the back, it's just a wall, but uh, you open up the door, it's a nice little porch. Um, from the porch, you can go downstairs and in to the first floor, down the stairs. And they have a little cabinet, and there's kitchen supplies in there, a little table with teapots, um, a fireplace, and a table, and a nice little couch-like thing over there to sit on. Uh, the front door opens up and there's the front porch. Um, if you go down these stairs, they take you down to the kind of basement area below the house. And it's mainly storage. And if I take this ladder right here, I can uh, open the door, put the ladder in through there when, it wants to, when you need to put it away. Um, it has a nice little garden area where they're growing pumpkins. I'm going to put this back together. It's really easy. Just put the pieces back together like that. This is the uh, front of the house. So the staircase looks really nice, and I really like the way they use these pieces for the handrails. And as you can see, the address for the house is 107, which is a little Easter egg because uh, the, the entire apartment building is a teal color, and like the color number for teal is 107. Uh, now let's move on to the bookstore. Uh, we're going to start out by looking at this birch tree, which Birch Books is kind of based off of. It's built up, like, really nice using these, like, pipe kind of pieces. And in my opinion, it looks a little weird, but in, in birch trees look weird, so it's, it's a good design. Um, you have a little bird in a nest, and this is, a uh, it's, uh, weird, it, I mean, it looks good, but normally that piece is used to go, like, around the neck of, like, a fur, a fur coat, and I think it's, uh, really good, and it looks really good, uh, used as a bird nest. So now we're gonna start out by looking in the little attic area, little bedroom for the bookstore keeper. This part can come off, and there isn't really anything exciting there. It's just the roof, or the ceiling. As you can see, there's a little chameleon in there, and he looks really nice on the teal bed because you can camouflage in there. And, um, she's gonna go to sleep, so it's not bothering her anymore. Um, the next part of the, of the, uh, bookstore is the top floor, which is kind of like the reading lounge area. Uh, the stairs for the entire bookstore look really nice, uh, because they really look like it's actually, like, in a spiral. It ha there's a nice grandfather clock, a little lamp, this little chair right here, um, little co coffee table, and out this door is the front porch where uh, you can sit, drink coffee, read a book. Um, yeah, that's basically that. But if you go down here is the first floor of the bookstore, which uh, I guess you can take this part off. It's a little lounge area up here with more books. I'm going to take that off so we can see better. Um, there's a whole 
book book cabinet right here, um, books in the back, and a little little area front desk where you can buy where you can buy the books. Um, yeah. And then back under the staircase is a door, and uh, that leads to the back side of the uh, bookstore. Put this back, and just like the apartment, it's really easy just to put all the pieces back together. Stack them on top of each other, get them, li get them lined up. There we go. The bookstore looks really nice. Have some books in the front. Um, these are, uh, these are not stickers, none of the, none of this set has any stickers, these are printed. Uh, you can see a little, little, uh, book in there, it's called Moby Brick, well, little, little pun, little Lego pun. Um, yeah, that's basically, uh, the bookstore. Now let's move on to the characters. Hello, we're looking at her, she is the, um, person who basically owns and runs the bookstore. Um, she has nice hair, the hair looks really nice. And, uh, does she have an alternate face? Yes. Her sleeping. And that's what that looks like. Let's move on to him. He kind of has a crush on her, so he, he can give her some flowers if he likes. And, uh, nice, nice shirt and tie. And he has an alternate face that looks like that. This is the boy. Uh, I think that's a new color beanie. Um, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it is. And he has a, a really good-looking scarf. Um... And that's his alternate face because he got his airplane stuck in the birch tree. Um, he, she lives in this house with him. Um, she has a really cool hair piece. Look at that. I think that that's a really cool hair piece. If the camera can find... There we go. It's a really cool hair piece. And this is her alternate face. He does not have an alternate face like a lame -o. Um, he, This is a really common outfit. Really common face piece. In my opinion, I don't like how the modular buildings are starting to have, like, actual faces. I, in my opinion, I think they should go back to the simple smiley face, but, um, it's fine. I, that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, that's basically the set. I think it's a really good set for $180, um, a really good set to start out with, and, and I, it's really nice that you can detach it because you can put it anywhere in your city. So the set randomly came with a bunch of um, one by one little bricks. I, I don't know. They're gray. I, I don't know why the set came with them. Um, maybe it's maybe just my box just randomly came with them. Because I know you use that piece some every now and again in the set. Like over here, I think. Or, yeah, right here. Might be just because they wanted to give you spares just in case. But I'm not sure. Um... If anybody else has this, if anybody knows the answer, leave in the comments. It's basically uh, the set, and have a good day.